Hey, 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 creative people. How's everyone doing? I wanted to post another one of my favorite artists. And this one is by Arthur Rackham. He's one of the foremost illustrators in the early 20th century. And most of his artwork is done in pen and ink and also brush, ink and brush, and also watercolor. And if you look at his style, he does like really a lot of mythical mythical artwork and fairy tales and nursery rhymes and that's where he uh, got most of his fame from so let's check out one of his books this one is was not actually he didn't make this book this is just co a collection of, of a bunch of his illustrations the Arthur Rackham Treasury this one has 86 pictures in it if you don't recognize this picture this one is from uh, uh, the Alice in Wonderland book. And that's how most people have seen uh, the illustrations of Alice. This one here. So let's check it out. A lot of these I don't know what it is. So I'll just read the title and you can just check it out for yourself. This one is the magic cup see this is this is both ink and uh, and watercolor I believe a lot of his ink work what he did was he would use like a sepia tone ink and then uh, I saw a technique where somebody tried to replicate it I don't know if he actually used this technique but what they did was use the sepia tone ink and then kind of like blot the paper you know, of course you're gonna do uh, draw the illustration first. And then they would blot the paper just to have like uh, to get the different shades and textures. And then when that's dry, they did the watercolor on top of it. I I actually tried that a little bit. I didn't do like a full watercolor, but if you look at one of my uh, the pen and ink portrait I did of a saint, if you want to check that out, I have that you know in one of my uh, in the video here. On one of my older videos and I did a similar technique just without the watercolor so you can see if you know that's to your liking let's go ahead and check out the rest of mostly I want to see the full color artwork I also have one just with his black and white illustrations but this one has the the full color illustrations here this one is Rip Van Winkle Okay, I believe they just organized it all by the stories he did. These are all Rip Van, Rip Van Winkle. Yeah, just the uh, the book that my likes like putting reflection on it. You don't like modern artists. You don't really see this kind of style. Just not just even the technique. Just the uh, the way he draws. It's different. Also the technique because the technique is a little different than modern artists you see with a lot of the ink uh, he does more of a lot of uh, more uh, like I want to say scratchy but like more finer lines rather than like a lot of the uh, a lot of the careful uh, lines that mod like especially like modern comic artists a lot of the line work is is really careful and just the design of the of the characters are, are different than what modern artists do. Yeah, it's also Rip Van Winkle. Now this is the uh, Alice in Wonderland series. There's the tea party. Get rid of that reflection. It's the same one as the cover. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. This is Shakespeare, I believe.
She just like a lot of, a lot of the stuff he does like fairies, mythical creatures. It's like a fae. <clears throat> oh, another thing I wanted to mention is he was really well known for these trees that, and also just the background more, more like the natural backgrounds. They would look like the the plants in the trees rocks were like coming alive were like they were actual like living like sentient creatures look, look at this one here so it looks like it's a uh, it's like it's an organic creature trying to like um you know like uh grab them or something I did a lot for this one, or maybe did it just the uh, art that they picked for this all came from a Midsummer's Night's Dream. the way he does the shading with his watercolor that's like a style I want to emulate especially just the way he works his watercolor actually the whole thing I really like his style this is Indian I think that's how you pronounce it see like the roots and he has a lot a lot of uh, little Easter eggs. They have to look around. There's like little fairy or goblin creatures down here hidden beneath the uh, roots. And you see their hands all pointing at him, and they're kind of like mixed in with the roots. Like they're and like the tree is like a uh, is like also like a creature like that's like bent over trying to trying to grab the horse or something. I could see influence from the masters, you know, the old uh, masters like the old Italian masters like Michelangelo. He has like uh, some some of the uh, style. You, you know, if you learn the traditional uh, classical art, you would they would have like a certain uh, it's like a certain look, a certain technique. But of course, he it's different because he's a, a early twentieth century. But you can see the influence that they had on his. Uh, art style Gulliver's Travels little people here Peter Pan in Kensington Garden. Again with a tree, like it's alive. See, there's like faces here in the tree. Little, little uh, elf or fae creatures here underneath. Oblivious human being over here. Rheingold and the Valkyrie. I like the way he does hair also. He does more line strokes. You can see like each of the hair, not, not really like each of them, but it, it's more apparent than what a lot of uh, modern artists do. again with the hair like in a pool of water that's cool
I'm just thinking of that Wagner song. You know the uh, uh, the Valkyrie song. I forget the title of it, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows what I'm talking about. Rise of the Valkyrie or something like that. Flight of the Valkyrie. I think that's it. Siegfried and the Twilight of the Gods. Aesop's Fables. My mom used to read me all these stories when I was a kid. When like a whole collection of all the books. Not with this art, unfortunately. Oh, she's like a giant. I've seen the little guy over here. And also again with the, uh, see the clouds are alive. Like, uh, wind spirits or something. This one is titled Arthur Rackham's Book of Pictures. Again, with the mischievous uh, goblins, gnomes, fairies, or whatever, fake creatures stealing the uh, clothes or something from the from the women. This depiction of Santa Claus. He's not fat like a, a modern day Santa Claus. I think uh, these illustrations are like around like the nine, 19 teens, like you know, through the 10, uh, 10 to the 15, somewhere, somewhere around that range. Maybe like his latest are like probably in the 20s. Interesting how they did. The uh, depiction of Santa Claus is different than nowadays. Let's skip the page. Mother Goose. The Allies Fairy Book. Little Brother and Little Sister and Other Tales. Yeah, I guess a lot of his stuff are like like um, compilations of, of different uh, stories. of King Arthur. Is that St. George and the Dragon? English Fairy Tales. This 
springtide of life. Snowdrop and other tales. Hansel and Gretel and other tales. Thomas I really like how he depicts women Actually, the, even the men have a similar look Vicar of Wakefield Goblin Market Tales of Mystery and Imagination Peer Gint, Peer Gint. illustration that's it for this one yeah I have a cup another one I think I mentioned that earlier the black and white one of his just uh, black and white illustrations and and I think that one ha has uh, more of his illustrations when he was younger and you'll notice like a difference as he goes by as the years go by that his artwork gets more refined I'll probably uh, be showing that one next. All right, people. Remember, always create, never hate. Until next time, bye.